Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, right triangle uh, ABC as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, this uh, line uh, BD is an angle bisector of this angle ABC. In other words, if this angle is alpha, then this angle has got to be alpha as well. And furthermore, uh, this line uh, segment uh, CD is uh, 10 units, whereas this uh, line segment AD is 8. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded triangle uh, BCD. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And now let's recall angle bisector theorem. As you can see, BD is an angle bisector in this triangle ABC. And we are going to have a proportion A divided by B as you can see over here equals to C divided by D as you can see over here. So in our case, let me go ahead and label this side as A, this side B, this uh, line segment is C and this line segment uh, lowercase d. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. I'm going to write down A divided by B equals to C in our case is 10 and D is 8. Let me go ahead and write down 10 divided by 8. Let me go ahead and tweak this equation. Let me go ahead and switch uh, these B and 10. So therefore this equation could be written as A divided by 10 equals to B divided by 8. It doesn't make any difference whatsoever. Let me go ahead and set this uh, equation equals to some constant k where k is uh, greater than 0. Then we can uh, write uh, this uh, equation as I can write uh, a divided by 10 equal to constant uh, k and the other one b divided by 8 equals to k as well. For this uh, first equation let me go ahead and remove this fraction by multiplying by 10 on both sides. So therefore this 10 and 10 is gone. So our A value turns out to be 10 times K. Likewise for this uh, second equation I'm going to multiply both sides by 8 to remove this fraction. So therefore this 8 and 8 is gone. So therefore our B value turns out to be A times K. So therefore we can see that this uh, side A turns out to be 10 times k. Therefore, I'm going to replace this a by 10 times k. Likewise, I'm going to replace this lowercase b by 8k. So let me go ahead and write down a times k. And just keep in your mind that k is greater than 0. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle ABC. And we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for uh, these k values. And here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call this longest leg as our side c. I'm going to call this side a and this side lowercase b. Just keep in your mind that this uh, side b is uh, some of these individual lengths uh, 10 plus 8 is going to make uh, 18. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. A in our case is 8k and then I'm going to put a square on that one. Likewise b is 18 whole square equal to c in our case is 10k whole square. Let's go ahead and simplify this thing. 8k square is going to give us 64k square plus 18 square is 324 equals to 100 k square. Let's go ahead and subtract 64 k square from both sides. This is gone. So we ended up with 324 equals to 36 k square. Let's divide both sides by 36. This is gone. So therefore our k square value turns out to be 9. Let's go ahead and undo this square by taking the square root on both sides and we can see our k value turns out to be positive 3 and just make sure that k must be a positive constant. So therefore over here I'm going to replace this k 
by 3 so 3 times 10 is going to give us uh, 30 likewise in this uh, 8k i'm going to replace this uh, k by 3 as well so therefore 8 times 3 is going to give us uh, 24 so thus our this uh, side length a b turns out to be 24 units and this side length uh, b c turns out to be 30 units and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded triangle uh, bcd and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half time base times uh, height and in our case for this uh, blue shaded triangle uh, this uh, cd is our base and this uh, ab is uh, our height so therefore the area of this blue shaded triangle is going to be let me go ahead and fill in the blanks area equals to a half times base in our case is 10 times 24 is our height and if we simplify everything our area of this blue shaded triangle is going to become 120 square units and now let me share with you the alternative method in calculating this blue shaded area area of this blue shaded triangle bcd equals to area of this bigger triangle abc minus the area of this smaller triangle bad so let's go ahead and calculate the area of this triangle abc we are going to use the very same formula of triangle so this is going to be a half times our base is going to be 10 plus 8 is going to be 18 times our height is 24 minus the area of this triangle BAD is going to be a half times our base is 8 and our height is 24 and now let's go ahead and simplify this first one that is going to give us 216 minus let's simplify this last one over here that is going to give us 96 and if we subtract this thing that is going to give us 120 square units is the area of this blue shaded triangle bcd so thus the area of this blue shaded triangle bcd turns out to be 120 square units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye